Hey there, so there's something we gotta talk about. Without going on a long rant, YouTube has been very rough recently for most creators including myself and 2025 was by far the worst year for this channel in terms of performance. It might be just me being burned out and tired, it might be the fact that I've already covered pretty much everything about paper 2D there is, it might be that this website is just pushing brain rot shorts down everybody's throats and neglecting educational long-form content, but the reason doesn't really matter. What's important is that I need to make changes to get the channel running again and I do have some plans for 2026 that I just want to let you in on. When it comes to what kind of videos I'll make in 2026, a lot of upcoming tutorials will be based on ideas I got while working on my JRPG course. So some of the upcoming tutorials will be how to use global variables in Unreal Engine 5, the best Unreal Engine folder structure, how to use data assets, how to make a main menu, how to make an options menu and so on. I also want to remaster the Paper ZD starter tutorial to be up to date with Unreal Engine 5.7 to be the best place for new 2D devs to start. And then follow that up with an advanced Paper ZD tutorial covering features that are aimed at intermediate and advanced developers which could drastically improve your workflow. One thing I also want to try again is making devlogs since just working on my own prototypes always gives me great ideas for tutorials and you guys seem to get inspiration out of just seeing me work on my own stuff and talk about it. I might finally revisit the beat em up or maybe I'll just start completely new prototypes or just do some challenges like trying to make a tower defense game in a week with Paper 2D for example, but I'm quite open to experimenting a bit with this and sharing my process with you. Also I've been talking to a viewer of this channel who goes by GenkiDev and he's been working on his awesome Paper 2D game Mythic Tale. He's doing a lot of research into things I haven't touched upon yet and he wants to share that information with me and the community. So there will be a collaboration between us in the first quarter of 2026. And if I find any other 2D devs that are willing to share their research, this format might turn into an ongoing thing. In general, I want to be a bit less anxious and perfectionistic about my content and just put things out there that I find interesting and know my core audience likes without worrying too much about having to hit 30k views or something like that. And as you might have already noticed, I now have a new look. I started out with this vector art character that a lot of you liked, but it was very hard to create new poses and it required a lot of video editing work. I then switched over to a 3D character and while Magna Omega did an amazing job modeling it, when I tried to animate it based on my voice it just always ended up looking very creepy and weird. So I then just created renders from it with multiple poses and switched through them but it wasn't all that well received and ended up being very much undercooked. Then for my Unreal Fest Tokyo presentation I had to quickly put something together and just used a scene from my JRPG with the Cobra Boy character I quickly drew in Pick Square and made it randomly switch between poses and jump depending on my voice level. Even though this is just the first iteration and I plan to make many improvements, feedback has already been quite positive and using the same 2.5D workflow and look for my video production as I use for my games and tutorials just makes so much sense. And I'm not sure why I didn't think of it sooner. When it comes to courses, I'm honestly not sure yet what direction to take. My JRPG Masterclass just released in December 2025 and it was a huge success. So I just want to give a huge thanks to everyone who got it or helped me spread the word. If it wasn't for this course performing well, I honestly wouldn't know how long I could have continued doing Cobra Code. But the course is still in early access and there are 6 additional chapters that I need to deliver until March, so for now that is my main priority. And I'm not gonna make any promises yet, but I might even throw in a few bonus chapters just to flesh it out even more. And yeah, if you haven't gotten the course yet, you can get it from the link in the description for the early access price and get all future content for free. I thought I might be able to also make a smaller Udemy course this year in parallel to that, but nobody knows right now what is going on with Udemy and the Coursera acquisition of it, so until things clear up over the next couple of months I probably won't work on any new courses. Like I said, I'll add more things to the JRPG course, want to concentrate a bit more on YouTube, and there's also something else I want to give a try. So one idea I have right now is to create more value which isn't directly tied to video creation, like I did in the past with my Unreal Engine templates. It's very easy for me to just make something cool in Unreal, but then having to always write the script, record the video and edit the video takes so much time. So I want to try creating small sample games using Paper 2D and Paper ZD, kind of like the sample projects Epic Games also gives out like Crop Out, Lyra and the City Sample, but of course at a much smaller scale. For example, I could take my parallax scrolling background tutorial, add some enemies to it, add a timer, a score and give the player the ability to jump and attack and that would turn it into a complete small game. I could then make a devlog talking about the process and put out the completed project files on Patreon using best practices and having commented blueprints. This would then allow you to create a game based on that or study the blueprints by messing around with the project rather than always having to watch tutorials. 
and I have many ideas for small games like that which I could create in a relatively short amount of time and also build up a library of reusable components and plugins. Last year I also created some pixel grass and ground textures and have also been getting back into Blender recently, so I might also want to try creating some small asset packs specifically for this 2.5D art style, since there really isn't all that much available. And these assets would then go hand in hand with my courses and tutorials. If the reception is good, I could then possibly outsource the creation of these assets and have a new pack every couple of months, making 2.5D development in Unreal even easier for everyone. And yeah, those are the specific things I want to do this year, but the overall goal is of course still to keep on pushing Paper 2D and Paper ZD forward by spreading the word and showing all the cool things that can be done with it, while at the same time also fighting false narratives and spreading best practices for Unreal Engine and Blueprints in general. Of course I need to make enough money to be able to keep on doing this full time, so please spread the word, get my courses or support the Patreon if you want to see Paper 2D succeed. Also, YouTube is just making it harder and harder to reach my subscribers, so if you haven't already, make sure to sign up for my newsletter from the link in the description, which will also give you my 2.5D top down template for free. That's pretty much all I wanted to say, and of course these plans might change a bit because I'll have to take things as they come and adjust to whatever happens throughout the rest of 2026. As always, a huge thanks to my patrons and YouTube channel members. 